Do we know something that others don't? Why is it that we as Catholics view the blood of Christ as something so extraordinary? So much so that we have dedicated the entire month of July to the most precious blood of Jesus. It is because of both the symbolism and the reality behind all that Jesus has suffered for us during his crucifixion. Join me in this episode as I discuss what you and I might learn from this incredible sacrifice. Howdy, and welcome to America Needs Fatima. My name is Adrian Fonseca, and I'm so glad each and every one of you is here with me to talk about the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. But before we get going, be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell so that you never miss out on another story of Mary. Have you ever thought of the role that your blood played in your life? When did you first realize the importance of its vitality and importance to your body and soul? I think it was my first paper cut that really made me start paying attention. This is a truly fascinating topic for the average man. However, when it comes to the blood of Christ, nothing can fully explain the divine mystery why he shed his for us. In the words of a prominent Catholic Brazilian thinker, Plenio Correa de Oliveira, Christ's blood, like everything else in the body of Christ, is in a hypostatic union with him. And when it leaves his sacred body, it is as if symbolizes the dignity of that body leaving. The blood of our Lord is merely an extension of our Lord, and because of this, it is undeniably sacred and should be revered. We might compare this departure to the juice that comes from the grapes that make wine. That juice represents the essence of the grape. It is all the best the grape has to give. So also our Lord's blood represents the best of all blood. It is the blood of David and the blood of Mary. Let us not forget the reason that blood of Christ was spilled in the first place. It was because of our sins the foolish deeds and malice of the very people he set out to save. Through a series of unspeakable, violent, and deicidal actions, that blood was shed in the scourging, the crowning with thorns, the cross, and the torments of all kinds. The blood was shed by the great anguish of soul when our Lord in his agony began to suffer and sweat blood all over his body. And we cannot forget the anguish this caused Our Lady. For though she did not shed a single drop of blood, she suffered every torment in union with our Lord as co-redemptrix. We must see how the blood of Christ calls to mind the tears of Mary, shed along with the blood of Christ. Our Lord did not want Our Lady to shed a drop of her own blood. He allowed all types of torments against Himself, but forbade the powers of evil from raising even a finger against His Immaculate Mother. And yet again, we are given another example of the love and fierce protection offered to us by our Lord, that he would go through so much without allowing his beloved mother to shed her blood in simply one more expression of the divine love that he has towards each one of us. She suffered no physical torments, none of her blood was shed on behalf of humanity, nor would it have been the redeeming force of the infinite, precious blood of Christ. However, Our Lady did shed a kind of blood, her tears. It would serve as only a kind of complement to our Lord's blood. We can say that tears are the blood of the soul. She suffered all the pain of his death and shed tears. Let us meditate upon this expression of ineffable goodness that Our Lady and Our Lord have shown us and allow ourselves by sorrow for our sins to be moved to tears to console Our Lady's and Our Lord's afflicted heart. Jesus held back nothing, not even a single drop of his precious blood to show his love for us. Would you consider showing your love for Jesus by signing up to be a child of Mary? Your modest monthly donation will allow us to continue to spread our devotion to Our Lady of Fatima through marvelous stories like this one I just told you. Click below to learn more about our exclusive group. On our next episode, we're going to discover some secret methods of devotion to the Sacred Heart and how much closer we can get to heaven by giving our heart to Christ, especially in the month of July that has been dedicated to Him. Come back next week to continue learning with me and to discover some of these incredible methods of true devotion. I'll see you then. Thank you for watching, everyone. May God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you. Thanks for watching. To save souls, there needs to be more Fatima focused content on YouTube. If you agree and you want to help me make more videos, please join our special Child of Mary group. As a child of Mary, you'll get a beautiful Fatima pin, plus inspiring reports on America Needs Fatima work to save souls. 
Click the link in the description below to learn more and become a child of Mary. God love you.